I got saved five times. Is it five? Five times, yeah. Five times. I just caught a cool lure. All right. Candyman. Candyman. You can loop those two, right, and make it five? <laughs> <laughs>
I think I'm done in here. Hey, come back up here. Shine that light on that that wall. Look at that, look at those cool handprints on the wall. That was pretty quality. cool. Set dressing. That's cool. When he, yeah, I bet that's from. That's I bet that. Did you hear that? I did. Oh, that's, that was your feet. Okay. okay. Which which way are you gonna go with that one? Those shoes are gonna be a prop. <laughs> Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are with Urban Ghost Hunters. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. And where are we? We are at Old South Pittsburgh Hospital and Paranormal Research Center. Um, is it haunted? Who knows? I mean, you know, I want to know the truth. Well, thank you very much for inviting me to come along with you. Man, we, we're happy to get you out here, Cam. We, we want to turn you into the believer. I want to be a believer. What kind of equipment have you brought? Well, tonight we are going to run, we're definitely going to run a ghost box, the PSP7, which is just a radio. And it scans through the channel? It scans through the frequency at 150 millisecond. What is a K2 meter? A K2 meter picks up or it detects a, a disturbance in the electromagnetic field. They believe that this is some of the energy like that that spirits put off. Okay. And so a lot of times when we go into a building, we'll use another device in conjunction with the K2 called a mail meter, which actually will give us a digital readout, you know, and a lot of times they can be debunked right. uh, due to power, you know, electricity in that area. So now there is another group in here with us. Yeah. So we're, we're actually going to work to try to keep one full floor in between us open. Oh, that's a good idea. Anybody on it. That way we can try to cut down on any kind of noise contamination. Okay. So we're able to try to catch any EVPs. All right, EVP session number two on a comfy bed. I really want to hear something on here. I want to hear like, you know, whispers and stuff. I want to hear that. So um, if you're not too annoyed by the parade of paranormal investigators that come through this building at exorbitant prices, then please, just for me, for your pal Ken, say something, anything. Do you bring him with you on all the ghost hunts? Which one? This one? <laughs> this guy. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> I mean, because it's like, I mean, I'm a skeptic, but I'm hoping to hear something. But every time I'm hearing, <laughs> yes, that's my impersonation of you. <laughs> I ask you the serious question like, did you die in this hospital? <laughs> Sorry, dude. We're in here do, trying to do a, a, you know, ask serious questions. Yep. He asks, like, did you die in this hospital? Three sec We're all listening, you know. Three seconds later. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a silly question. The same question. How'd you go? Well, to you can. I, how about this? How about this? Dent, 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 dent. dent. <laughs> See? <laughs> All right, this ends this magnificent EVP session. I about tripped out a while ago. Why? Wow. I was coming down the hallway. You went the wrong and, way. Yeah, and then I saw the mannequin laying in the bed, and I thought one of the, the docents yeah. was actually <laughs> sleeping in one of the beds. Are you the family? Because I have some bad oh. news. Oh, no. She's going to have quadruplets. Huh. They want to go sit in here? Some, something drew me in this room here. What is that room? Something, Air something. Hey, my name is Eric, and I brought a couple of friends here with me. I got Ian and Keith, uh, Ken, and I've got Richard, and we're here to we're here to try to communicate with you. If you want to, you can come up and speak to us. And Ken actually just set another recorder over in the chair. If you want to come in and come up and talk to either one of them, we might be able to hear you. If you want to, can you come up and tell us your name? There's also a couple of boxes up here on the table with all the toys. You can come up and touch either one of them. They'll light up and make a noise. And they'll let us know that you're here. It'll give us a sign. Which toy is your favorite? Why does Tarzan never grow a beard? 
<laughs> right. I mean, right. <laughs> Sorry. I'd like to go to those recording studio things, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm an audio guy, so let's go see if we can talk to the uh, ghosty who built the studios. Is this one open? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to place the microphone on this windowsill. And then you're going to shut me in here. Not all the way, but just like that. And then I'm going to hang out in here. Can you see me through the... I can. All right. Why did you build these studios? Why did you use spray foam when you could have just hung some U-Haul blankets? Were you a mus musician yourself? Did you play an instrument? I heard skin flute. Did you say skin flute? <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jim built this, right? This was built by Jim. Yeah. And this is where he lived on this floor? Yeah, yeah. Straight, uh, straight ahead down there. All right. What was that? Did you hear it? Yeah. What well, what said that? I don't know. It, it, it was not. It wasn't from Mario's side. I thought it was you. Yeah, I thought it, I thought it was you. It sounded like a female voice, yeah, didn't it? Yeah. It was a chick. It was a chick. Yeah. It was. It was oh, definitely a female. Oh. Give me your walkie-talkie. <laughs> I think she said two. I think he switched it. I think he switched the channel by accident. If I switch this and it says either three or one, that's what it is. Okay. Okay. Yep. That's what it was. That's what it was. Okay. <laughs> All right. Did you have it in your pocket? Yeah, in my bag. Yeah, pocket. you must have twisted in a way to the make it. Voice. Okay. Oh, candy. Is this for me? Oh, wow. Is this for me? I'm going to eat it. Oh, there's. Oh. I'm totally eating this. I don't care. I'm starving, Marvin. Hey, Jim, I'm going to eat your candy. What do you think about that? Oh, yeah. And I'm going to leave the wrapper for you to clean up. If you are mad that I ate some of your candy, make that dip de doo do the thingy thing. Is that the, that's the lingo? <laughs> <laughs> make it light up. We're going to make the dip de doo do the thingy thing. Make it light up. It's good candy. Jim, do you like people coming back here? Am I chewing too loud? No, I felt the cool breeze. <laughs> you did really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna ride. What does that feel like when you feel like just like a cool breeze, just like a little, like after a wind movement? Yeah. Or is it just like warm here, cold there? It, well, it's like it's like a cool breeze, just like an almost some, like somebody turns the air conditioning on, and just you feel the like the cold wind blow right against you. I want to feel that. It's, I've only felt it a couple of times. It doesn't it doesn't happen a lot. Well, thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate. It. Thanks for having me along on your investigation. Man, wasn't it fun? So much fun. We found some interesting medical equipment. And we've been here quite a while. I mean, God. it's getting late. I'm getting hungry. I could really use some uh, starving. pancakes, maybe? Pancakes? Yeah, but it's got to be somewhere where I can get some maple stirrup. <laughs> 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 maybe they need a K3 meter, because that K2 ain't doing nothing. <laughs> I have to look. I have to do it. OK. Dude. <laughs> I was about to. We're like listening for the next realm and his freaking phone goes off. That's a that's a paranormal party foul, man. It's key. An orb. It indicates the presence of a spirit. It's an orb. Oh. I wonder who that was. Probably Napoleon, Abraham Lincoln. 
Oh, hi. I see you found my farting table. I'm pretty sure I saw something. It was in this courtyard. I don't... Oh, yeah, there it is. Yep. I was pretty sure I saw something. I can see by your film, Mrs. Jones, that you have broken every bone in your vagina. Everyone. I'm afraid I'm going to have to prescribe some saliva. Ha, 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 ha.